established a series of programs to help low-income and disabled Americans enter college, graduate, and participate in Americans' economic and social life more fully. And these programs are funded under Title IV of the Higher Education Act of 1965, and they're referred to as the TRIO programs. The reason they're labeled like that is because initially there were three programs, a trio of programs. We are proud at KU to administer a variety of TRIO programs that provide opportunities for low-income students, for first-generation students, and also for disabled students. There's nothing that we do as a university that is more important than to make sure that the students that we bring here are successful. Option is a five-day residential program with three basic goals. One, recruiting our students. The piece is to get them in the program, because sometimes students are like, nah, I don't know if I want to do that. And so it's important to get them in the program. It's assisting them with their transition from high school to KU. And third, is then connecting them to other programs, like our Multicultural Scholars Program, to our TRIO Program, to our Hawk Link Program, to programs that we know that can help them be successful. I want to thank you all for having us, and I'm so excited for you to hear stories from our amazing students. Like many of them, I am a first-generation student, so I definitely understood the need for students to become acclimated to campus prior to their arrival, having knowledge of resources sooner, connecting with faculty and staff, and having a sense that they belong here at KU. Not only just like the academic side of options I think helped, but the personal side of it, because they really did like incorporate us into like a family here on campus. Like I still see these people on campus and I'm like, hey, what's up? And like give each other hugs. And I don't know, like it's just, it's really cool to like have a family in an academic setting as well. When I got here in the fall 2012, I wanted to leave. I wanted to go home and never come back, but you know, I had to stick it out. Mom said, you got to do a year at least. So <laughs> stay the year. <laughs> it wasn't until my senior year that I really felt like I had a belonging here on campus. And it was because of the option students here. I've never felt so respected and trusted in my life. In those five days, you get a lifetime's worth of information. Earlier this year, my someone very, very close to me, my grandfather, passed. And the people who helped me through that experience the most were my options family. It's so nice whenever you get to, whenever somebody comes into the office and you know them by name because they walk in and they think, oh, they know me here. I think what's been so wonderful is seeing these students pay it forward and become leaders on campus. I know uh, many of them mentioned to me the first day of class, um, they were so acclimated to campus that they were able to direct other students and tell them how to get to different buildings. When Phil and I began talking with our friends at KU Endowment last year, we were looking for some way in which our gifts to KU would directly benefit students in Kansas for whom college would be a new direction for them and in the lives of their families. We were introduced to Dr. Nate Thomas. And so we decided to contribute to the options program and to create the Diversity and Equity Student Success Fund as an endowment for future Kansas students. And this options program, while free to KU students, costs about $300 per student. $300 to help students get a start on an education that will impact these students for their entire lives. That's not much, and it makes such a difference. This is an opportunity to change the life of young people, to give them access to be here at KU and to do phenomenal things. <laughs>